Hello investors, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be discussing dividend stocks. So if you guys have been following me, you might know that in March I made a video about my top five dividend picks for 2019. Well, right now I'm going to be discussing with you guys uh, how much those five dividend stocks could already have profited you just from the growth of the stock. So, you know, I always talk about it's not always just about the dividend. If it's, you know, if, it's, if the dividend is 4%, 6% or whatever, it's actually about the growth plus the dividend combined. You want to pick a stock that's going to be safe and actually grow as well as the dividend giving you money as well, you know, passive income from the dividend as well. So I'm going to be showing you guys how much these stocks have went up in the past three or four months and how much you guys could have earned if you would have invested $1,000 into each one of these stocks uh, in March. Okay guys, so the first stock that was on our pick was uh, UNP, Union Pacific. So on March 6th, right here, I'm looking at it, the price of it was $165 per uh, share, and currently it is trading at $169.50 per share. So if you would have invested $1,000 into that one um, in March, you would be up about $30 total uh, just from the growth. So that's not including the dividend payments that you would have received as well. So $30, you know, just from that growth is not that bad if you're only holding it for the dividend and not actually for the growth. So a combination of both. Now this is where it gets interesting. My second pick was McDonald's. So in March, on March 6th, McDonald's was trading at around $180 per share and currently McDonald's is trading at around $213 per share. It's actually at an all-time high. I actually own McDonald's in my portfolio. So if you would have invested $1,000 into McDonald's stock, uh, right now you would be at a positive of about $183 per, you know, for an investment. Plus you would have gotten, you know, a couple of the dividend payments and still more dividend payments to come this year. So $183 up plus the dividend, that's really, really good on a $1,000 investment. That's almost 20% right there. Okay, now our third pick pretty much killed it just like McDonald's did. It's actually Home Depot. So Home Depot was trading at a very, very similar price as McDonald's and that was my other pick. So it was at $182 per share and currently it's trading at $210 per share. So if you would have invested $1,000 into uh, Home Depot, right now you would have been up $153 total. So $153 once again, not including the dividends. So that is amazing once again, just like McDonald's, Home Depot killed it. It seems as if I'm on a roll. My other pick was KO Coca-Cola, and Coca-Cola was trading at about $45 per share. Currently Coca-Cola is trading at $52 per share. So if you would have invested $1,000 to Coca-Cola, right now you would be at a profit of $155, not including the dividend obviously. So whatever you would have got from the dividend payments, you would add that onto your profits. So right there, we just had three killer stocks, Home Depot, McDonald's, and uh, Coca-Cola, all giving around $150 profit uh, per $1,000 investment. And you know, even the Union Pacific did okay with the $30. Now my fifth stock is going to be, uh, it was BP, BP Oil. Now it was trading at around $42.63. Uh, currently it's trading at about $41. So, so if you would have invested $1,000 into BP, you would actually be down about $39 uh, you know, total, not including the dividend that you would have received plus the other dividends you will be receiving for this uh, year. So BP was the only one that you know wasn't the greatest pick and it's not actually up currently but the other four have been destroying it this year all right so just to go over a little recap once again four out of the five picks that i made in march would have made you you know great growth plus the dividend so this right here just shows that you know when you're picking uh stocks that you want to hold for a long time for just a dividend you don't want to just pick something that's going to give you six or seven or eight percent you want to look at something that's going to be growing in the long term and if you just look at it I mean McDonald's if you think about it where is McDonald's going to be going I actually made a video the other week about McDonald's and why I believe that McDonald's is a great stock to just hold in your portfolio in general 
But can you imagine, you know, making those type of profits plus getting, getting the dividend? And then if you look at the Home Depot as well, you know, it's very, you know, doing very well. Coca-Cola, I mean, Warren Buffett owns so much of Coca-Cola. He's getting so much money from the dividends. He doesn't even have to worry about anything. You know, he doesn't even have to do anything else. He would be successful just by holding the Coca-Cola um, shares and getting the dividend from it. Now, this is why, you know, dividend investment can be amazing. It can give you a lot of uh, passive income. You just have to keep building your portfolio. And that's why I suggest everybody uh, make a dividend portfolio. As you guys know, I made my M1 Finance portfolio, and it's strictly all dividend um, stocks. And right now, I'm actually up on every single sector and uh, pie, so you guys will be seeing that soon. But yeah, you know, I, I suggest everybody to hold some dividend stocks because they will be paying you out monthly, quarterly, whatever it is. But also, you know, make sure that they're good growth stocks because as long as that stock is growing and you're getting the dividend payments from it, that means you're making passive income. You're getting growth from the stock plus the dividend. You're not just, you know, holding the stock and uh, praying that you get a good dividend, but you don't know what's going to happen with the actual stock. If it's going to go down or if it's going to go up, you know, if it has a successful business or not. Now, what I would suggest is actually M1 Finance. Um, I, that's what I'm using right now because... With M1 Finance, you can own fractions of shares and pretty much any money that you're receiving from the dividends, you can literally just reinvest back into the stocks and you can buy portions of it. So, you know, if you don't have enough for a whole share, you can buy parts of a share. So if anybody wants to sign up for M1 Finance, there's going to be a link in the description. Uh, during the month of July, actually, uh, they upped it. So if you sign up, you get $20 and I would get $20 once you fund the account. So that's only for July. So next month, it's going to go back to $10. But yeah, I would really suggest anybody to use M1 Finance because it's really, really good for people who are holding for like long-term dividend stocks like that. Robinhood is for more like, you know, short-term traders that are going to be in and out real quick. But there's no commissions on M1 Finance, so I, I think that's a very good place to do some dividend uh, investing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. Make sure you su subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Leave a comment below on what is your best uh, dividend hold in your portfolio and how many percent is it up right now. Uh, if you guys want me, I will be making another probably um, dividend video about my top five picks for the rest of the year, I guess. I could do that for you guys. And I could pick stocks uh, from different sectors of the you know stock market. So in case one section of the market goes down, the other ones will stay up. So you'll be getting that growth plus the dividend as well. So leave a comment below if you guys want to see that. You know, I can make a video on that if you guys want to. And I'll see you guys next time.